Good morning, ninjas, this morning. Give me a wave if you can hear me. Hi, guys, how we doing? Hi, Brock. Hi, Tom. Hi, Joshi. Hi, Freya. Tia. Vida. Who else we got on? Vinny. Hi, Vinny. How are you guys doing this morning? Okay, so um, today's uh, session is on catching. Okay, so you make sure you need a ball. You need a ball handy, guys, today. Okay, for today's session. Okay, so we did kicking on Monday. We did blocking yesterday. We're doing catching today. Okie dokie. So, and then tomorrow we're going to be doing memory and balance again. Okay, and then on Friday we're going to be doing punching. Okay, and then we're going to totally mix it up next two weeks, okay, going forward, so. Okay, who else? We've got our bows just arrived. Good morning, Bo. How are you doing this morning? Your camera's the wrong way around. Okay, it's cold in my garage this morning. Okay, guys, should we get started? Just jogging on the spot. Let's go, go, go. Let's get warmed up. Have you played any... Um, have you played any tricks on your mum and dad's this morning? It's April Fool's Day, remember? So you've got to try and trick your mum and dad. Okay, and punching out. And flicking your toes out. And kicking your bum. And star jumps. Showing on the spot a bit faster this time. Punch it out to the side. Crossing your arms, so jogging while you're swinging your arms across your body like this. And up and down. And more star jumps. And shake it off. Okay, so we're going to move to the first exercise. First exercise is we're going to do crawls across the ground so we did this last week so we need to lie down so our body is flat we need to put our arms out and we're going to do army crawls across the ground just using your arms without using your legs ready i want to see you working go let's go so we're crawling across the ground let's see ya come on Vinny. here comes Vinny. keep going Bo. so you're going to go forward then you're going to turn around and you're going to go back the opposite way, crawling across the ground, using your arms only. Keep going, well done Vinny, good army crawls, well done Bo, I can see you, I can't see lots of you, because you've all disappeared off the camera. Okay, and stand up everybody, well done from there. Then moving on to the legs from there, we're going to do Frankenstein walks this morning. So you're going to put your arms out like Frankenstein again. Again, do your silly Frankenstein impression. Good. Then from there, we're going to keep our legs straight and we're going to swing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And give me another ten. Put your arms out, ready? And go. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Okay, everyone, just let everyone lie down for me. From there, we're going to do bicycles. From there, really lift the arms up, legs off the air, and just do bicycle rise. Let's go. So, ten seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one, and then just rock your body up from there into bear position. So we're gonna do a bear crawl now. So from there, if you get to one end of your living room, we're gonna do the bear crawls one. And then we're gonna spin round, and we're gonna go back again, and we're gonna spin round and keep doing bear crawls for me. I wanna see you. Let's go. Go, go, go. Let's see you crawling around that living room. Let's see you crawling around the kitchen. That's it. Keep going. That's it. Keep those knees off the ground, you guys. 
Alright, good work. Okay, and stand up for me. Okay, from there, so you're going to need a bit of help from your parents now, because we're going to do some catching drills. So go and get your ball. If you've got a ball, go and get your ball now as quick as you can. Give it to your mums and dads, so they can throw it to you. Okay. <clears throat> okay, good. Right, from there. Not a balloon bow, we need a football. Have you not got a football in that house? I bet you have. I bet your dad's got one somewhere. Alright, okay, so from there you're going to get yourself a ball. Give the ball to your mums and dads. So, your mums and dads are going to hold the ball and they're going to throw the ball to you. Now, from there you've got to think about, keep looking at the ball, keep your eyes on the ball, keep your arms there out, keep your arms out there ready. So you're going to catch it as you catch it, bring it in close to your chest, hold on to it, ready. So you're going to catch ten times, ready, one. And give the ball back. No dropping off. Who's dropping it? Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, very good, all right, give the ball back to your mums and dads, just another five, ready, same ones again, ready, hold the ball, go, one, two, three, four, five. Alright, this time, mums and dads, you're going to get the ball and you're going to get in that position and you're going to roll it to them along the ground. Ninjas have got to drop down, they've got to grab it and then stand up. So they're going to be using their legs as well as they do it, okay? So make sure they don't just bend down, make sure they drop their knees to the ground, grab the ball and stand back up again. Get ready. So from there, roll the ball. One, one, down, pick it up and stand up. Good. And again, two. Ready, three, ready, four, ready, five, ready, six, ready, seven, ready, eight, ready, nine, And ten. Alright, good. From there, this time, we're going to try. It's a bit difficult, this one. I know some of you are little is. We're going to try to do it on the bounce. So, mums and dads, get the ball. You're going to bounce the ball on the ground. Okay, so you're going to throw it. So, you're going to bounce it and see if the ninjas can catch it on the bounce. Ready? Five times. Ready? One. Good, well done Vinny. Two. Good two and Vidar, well done and Hugo. Three. Well done Hugo, good catch. Four. Five. And just relax there. Very good. Okay, just put the ball down for a second for me. Okay, make a nice wide stance, put your hands on your belt. Let's just do a couple of punches. Just before we move on to the next set of exercises, from there, put one punch in arm out. Ready, we're going to do ten punches to the middle. Make sure you count that nice and loud. Ready, one. Can't hear you. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Okay, this time do ten punches on your own. Count them out. Ready, I want to hear them. Go. Two, I want to hear them. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, well done, and relax there. Okay, from there, everyone sit down for me. Put your legs out straight. From there, ready. Just going to drop our body weight forward. Grab your ankles. 
and just pull your head down towards your knees, keeping your legs straight. Ready? Good, and just relax. And up again, reach forward. See if you can grab your toes. Keep your legs straight. Stretch it down to those straight legs. And relax. And over we go. Ready? Forward. And relax there. This time, put the soles of your feet together and bring them in. Grab your toes. Bounce your legs up and down. And then we're just going to push down. See if we can get them down to the floor. Good. Grab your toes. Bounce your legs up and down. Grab your ankles and push down. Good. Put your legs out straight. Bounce your legs up and down. Move your legs nice and wide. Okay. Put your hands on the floor. And then we're just going to stretch forward. And over to your left leg. Over to your right leg. And just cross your legs for me. And sit nice and smiley while Mr. Cook just has a quick chat with you all. Okay, so. So I know we've done this ninja, this same match up before, but Mr. Cook just wants to go over this one again. It's about being patient, okay? So. Put your hands in the air, ninjas, if you're showing lots of patience for your mums and dads. Put your hands in the air if you've been showing lots of patience. Okay, it is really important okay, to have lots of patience at the moment because mummy and daddy are very, very busy okay, doing things around the house, trying to work, trying to get the meals on the table, trying to get the washing done, trying to get the house tidy, all those things while you, you guys are at home and not at school so you've got to be patient for your mums and dads okay so when you ask them to do something make sure you say excuse me okay and say oh mum and dad put your hands in the air or go and say mum and dad can I speak to you for a second don't just interrupt them okay make sure you show lots of patience if you do that for me ninja show me your muscles if you understand and you're going to do that for me show me your muscles well done, okay, you need to be patient guys, okay? Well done. Alright, so, everyone stand up for me. Feet together, cherry extension. Chung A Bao, I'm going to pick ninja of the day. So, are we going with the yellow one? Or, who's going for the yellow one today? Or are we going for the red one? Hands in the air, yellow? Or red? Right, let's go with the yellow one today. So, ninja of the day today is going to be... Hmm, ninja of the day is actually going to be two ninjas today. Two ninjas from the same family. It's Vida and Tia today are the two ninjas. The two twins... Well done, you guys. Really, really good catching today. Okay, well done. So that's you two guys. Show me your muscles, you two. Show me your muscles. Get on the, get on the camera. Where's the little ones? Here they come. Show, yeah, there we go. Good effort, you guys. Well done. All right. Okay, so we're moving on to the next class. The next class is for the five to seven year olds, okay? Little three and four year olds, if you want to join in, you can. And jogging on the spot. Let's go, go, go. Jogging on the spot, everyone. Oh, we've got lots of new ninjas that have just joined us. So we've got Kara, we've got Max, we've got Asuka and Alma, we've got James, we've got Xavier. Who else have we got on here? Keep looking, keep jogging on the spot, you guys. We've got Harry. We've got Harrison, we've got Leo, what are you guys? Go, keep jogging on the spot and do some star jumps for me. Floppy dogs. Crisscrossing, so legs forward and backward, arms crisscrossing. crossing 
up and down. And shake it all off. All right, from there, feet together, tension, chariot. Feet together, chariot, chung a bow. Hands on your fists, hands on your hips. Lay feet nice and wide, put one punch in arm out. Let's start off with 10 punches, get ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, try to um, wake the mums and dads up. Let's make sure we're counting really, really loud, okay? Really loud, so I can hear you all the way in Stamford Bridge. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and relax it onto press up position. Down we go. I know how much you ninjas love your press ups. Ready? Go, got lots of you on there today. Well done. Okay, so into press up position, you guys. Ten press ups, go. One, count them out, I can't hear you. Two, still can't hear you, keep going, count them out. Three, keep going, keep going, and relax there. Stay on the floor, we're going to go into army crawls from there. So put your legs out straight, put your arms out like this. We're just going to move across the carpet, just using your arms. Then when you get to the end, you're going to turn around and come back again. Ready, go. Army crawls, just using your arms to pull yourself across the carpet or across the floor. Let's see you going. Good effort. Look at you guys working. Well done. Keep going. Keep going all the way to the end and then turn around back again. Don't use your legs though. Don't use your body. Keep your body flat. Just use those arms to pull yourself along. All right, good. And stand up for me. Okay, we're moving on to Frankenstein walks. Put your arms out straight. Show me your Frankenstein impression. Like this. All right, from there. Then we're going to do leg swings. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, let's do another 10 for me, go, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and relax there, good from there, then we're going to go in to bicycles on the floor, so lie down for me, put your legs in the air, and we're going to do 20 seconds of bicycles, ready, go, 1, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Very good. And just rock yourself up. And stand up there. Okay, from there, ninjas, I need you to go and get a football now. Go and get yourself a ball. Okay, or a tennis ball, something like that. Hello, Frankie, just joined us. Why don't you guys? Okay, good. Right, look at all you ninjas on there. Loads of you. Brilliant effort. Right, skate football. So, we're working on catching today. So, from there, you're going to get the ball. Mums and dads, make sure you got the ball. And you're going to throw them to the ninjas. And they've got to catch 10 times, okay? If they drop it, oh, I don't know. If they drop it, then I don't know. Maybe you should ban television for a week. What do you reckon? Is that a good idea? Or ban the iPad for a week if they drop it. What about that? Is that fair, Frankie? Is that fair, Harry? Is that fair, Leo? I don't know. It's not, is it really? That's a bit mean. All right, get ready. So we're going to throw the ball for the arms aren't ready. And we're going to throw the ball. One. I'm seeing who's dropping it. Two. Good catch, Harrison. Three. Four. Good, Hugo. Well done. Good catches. Five. Six. Well done, Josh. Seven. Eight. 
Nine. Ten. Are you alright, James? Okay, from there. And go back again. Get ready. Okay, ready. From there. We're going to throw the ball again. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Oh, good job, ninjas. Right. Now we're going to move on to the bouncing one. So from there, you're going to hold the ball and you're going to bounce it like that. And the ninjas are going to try and catch it on the bounce. Get ready. This is a bit of a difficult one. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Okay, and the last round is you're going to get the ninjas to stand on one leg. And you're going to throw the ball to them on one leg. And let's see if they could use their balance and catch at the same time. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And relax there. Okay, ninjas, and everyone sit down for me. Sit down on the floor, put the balls to one side. Legs as wide as you can get them. Okay, and we're just going to stretch from there. Legs nice and wide, stretch down to the centre. Over to your left. Over to the right. Down to the middle. Over to the left, over to the right, down to the middle, and bring your legs straight. Just reach forward and just grab your toes. Try and, like I said, grab your toes, keeping those legs nice and straight. You can hold it there, if you can hold it. Good, bring the soles of your feet together and bring them in. And bounce those legs up and down. Grab your ankles and push, push down, push down, good ninjas, and just cross your legs and relax there, okay, so the topic for today that we're talking about is again, same topic we've done before, hello Ko, okay, it's being patient, okay, it's really important ninjas that you're patient for your mums and dads at the moment, mums and dads have got lots of things to do, some of them are trying to work from home, okay, some of them... Okay, you've got to make your dinner. Some people have got you've got to tidy the house. Okay, you've got to keep on top of all these tasks while you're at home, while you're normally at school. It's quite difficult. It could be quite stressful for mummy and daddy at the moment. So it's really important that you stay patient with them. Okay, and when you ask them to do something, you give them time. Okay, don't just say, Mum, Dad, I want you to do this for me now. Maybe say, Mum and Dad, is it okay if you do this for me later? Okay, give them a bit of time. And use your patience. It's really important at this time, ninjas, okay? So, show me your muscles if you're going to do that for me. I promise to be patient for your mums and dads. Show me your muscles. Let's see them. Yes. Okay, good muscles, you guys. Well done, sir. Please be patient for your mums and dads, okay? And um, have a good rest of your day. Keep fit. Make sure you keep sending lots of videos in. I keep getting loads of videos from you, which is fantastic, okay, for the prize draw on Saturday. Okay, so well done ninjas, you're gonna stand up for me. Okay, from there, feet together. Cho ching bow. I've got to do ninja of the day. So put your hands in the air if you want the yellow one. Put your hand in the air if you want the red one. Okay, we're gonna go with the red one today. So from there, ninja of the day is going to be it's a tough decision. Because there's just so many good ninjas on here. It's going to go to Emma today. 
Well done, Emma. Give us a give us a wave. Give us a wave. Show me your muscles, Emma. Good moves. Well done today. Okay, really well done. Okay, so you're ninja of the day. From there, feet together, chariots, ching a bell. Give yourself a clap, the ninjas. Thank you very much. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, 10 o'clock as always. Tomorrow we're working on memory and balance. Okay, on Friday we're working on our punches. Okay, and Saturday we've got the prize draw. All right, so keep practicing. Okay, thank you very much, you guys. Okay, Taekwondo people, stay on the line. Okay, Taekwondo people are doing three step and two step sparring today. I do have to be quick. Okay, um, okay, so yeah, it's half past 10, that's fine. I do need to finish at 11 o'clock on the dot today because I've got to get off somewhere. Um, I've got to be in another town for 12 o'clock. I've got some things to do. Mr. White will be doing your class tonight, guys. So if you tune in for the class tonight, it won't be me taking it. It's going to be Jackson White. Jackson White Jr. will be doing the class tonight. So make sure you tune in for that. Okay, Taekwondo people, let's get started. It's half past. Jogging on the spot. Let's go, go, go. Jogging on the spot. So again... Three steps sparring, two steps sparring today, okay? Three steps sparring is for the yellow belts, green stripes, green belts, blue stripes, blue belts, all the way up to black belt, okay? So you do need to learn three steps sparring from a yellow belt, okay? So if you're a white belt, you can still join in, that's fine, okay? But you don't need to learn this until you have a yellow belt. Okay, who we got on the line? We've got... Uh, Harry, we've got Isaac Connie, we've got the Cairns, we've got Aidan, we've got um, Smith family, we've got Isabel, we've got Matt and Felix, we've got Helen, we've got the Eden family, we've got James Harry, we've got Sebastian, we've got Oliver, we've got Fergus, we've got Precia, we've got Sonia, we've got Jack Daniel, we've got Lachlan Gold, we've got loads of you on today. Good effort, you guys. Well done for keeping your training up. Can you do some star jumps for me? Let's go, go, go. Get those style hips going. Okay, and just shake it all off. So it's a recap of three steps firing today. Okay, so we're going to start at number one. We're going to go from number one all the way through to number ten. Okay, and then um, as long as we have time, we're going to move on to some of the two steps firing. If we don't get through all of the two steps firing in the half an hour slot that we've got, obviously we have got videos of them. You can watch, you can recap and watch the videos of them, yeah? Okay, so from there, feet together, chariots, tension. Chung A bow, good. From there, so, three steps bar in number one. Everyone walk forward towards the camera. Okay, walk forward, because you're going to be stepping backwards. I'm going to be attacking you. You're going to be going backwards. Okay, from there. Right leg back, ready to attack. So I'm going to attack three punches now. Okay, give me a second. Let me just... Um minimize this so I can see everybody there we go all right okay from there ready to attack three punches so I'm going to step forward and do three punches you're going to step back with your right leg step back with your right leg and do a middle block ready so I want you to wave when you're ready I can't hear you key out just wave ready so we're going to go punch one punch two Punch three, and then reverse punch your shell, go. Good, and then should be, you're going to attack me now. Right leg back, low section block, shell ready to attack, three punches. Okay, from there, stepping forward, punch one, two, three, punch your gear, ha -ya! and then should be, ready position, okay. Ready to attack three punches. You guys in ready position. Okay, we're going to do number one one more time. Okay, then we're going to move on to number two. Number one is your right leg back in a walking stance. So, everyone just tap your right leg. Make sure you know which one you're moving back. That's the one you're stepping back with in gun and soggy walking stance. All right, ready from there. Ready, three punches. First one, punch one, go. And again. And again. Reverse punch and shout, go. Good. Should be. You're going to attack me now. Right leg back, low section block. Shout, ready to attack three punches. 
Step forward. One, two, three. Hey and put your shout from there to be. Okie dokie. Right, number two now. So we're stepping back with our left leg. So tap your left leg. Right, we're stepping back in an L stance. Okay, now you your soggy L stance. That's the one we're going to be stepping back in. Okay, from there, really position. Ready to attack three punches. Stepping back with your left leg. Middle block, go. So I'm going to hold it there. Everyone just check that you've got your left leg back before we move on. Mums and dads, just check the kids. If you're there, make sure they've all got their left leg backwards and they're in an L stance. Okay, step back again. Go. Here you go, step back again. L stance and block with the other arm. So you're blocking, remember, Sebastian. I'm attacking, that means you're blocking. It should be a middle block that you're doing. A middle block. Middle block, Sebastian. Let's do it. You're a punch that you're showing me. That's it. Step back again. Middle block, go. Good pressure. Right, from this position, okay, so you're going to move your back leg, then your front leg, make an L stance, knife and chop. Go, knife and strike. Good. Jumpy. All right, okay, so you don't need to attack me, just walk forward again. Okay, I think we all know how to do three punches. So just come forward, 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 so we can move back. Okay, from there, we're going to do number three now. So number three, we use in a block, inward block, from there, it comes up and comes in, comes up and comes in, comes up from the outside and comes in, okay, ready, inward block from there, should be, ready, position, so you're stepping back with your left leg again, tap your left leg, just as a reminder, okay, from there, ready, stepping back with your left leg, go, L stance and inward block, so make sure, just hold it there, guys, Make before you step back again, just check that it's the same leg, same arm. Sorry, same leg, same arm, okay? So if you look down, okay, and your left arm's out and your left leg's forward, it's correct, okay? Or right leg or whatever leg it is, okay? If it's the opposite one, you know you've gone wrong somewhere. Ready? Step back again and block, go. Inward block. Step back again and inward block. Then we're going to slide our front foot in. Interlock your arms and forward into a back fist strike in an L stance. Good. Jumpy. Walk towards the camera. Walk forward towards the camera. Good. All right. From there, we're going to step back now for number four. So number four is just like number two. You're stepping back with your left leg. Again, so tap your leg. Make sure you know which one your left leg is. Okay. We're stepping back in L stance. Ready. Step back. One. Middle block. Go. Step back again, middle block, go. Step back again, middle block, go. And from this position now, you're going to step around, measure with your left arm. Then you're going to do two punches. One, two, hey And then key up on the, okay, good, from there, to me. Okay, so, yellow belts, okay? One, two, three, and four are the three-step sparring you need to know. Green stripes. Five, six, and seven. That's what we're moving on to next, okay? So, yellow belts. It's up to you. You can do the ones that I'm doing. You can learn the higher ones if you want to. Or you can practice the one, two, three, four again. All right, from there. Come forward towards the camera. Okay, B. So, number five. We step back of our right leg now. So, again, so tap your right leg. And we're going back in an L stance. All right, from there, chun be ready position. Okay, step back with your right leg, L stance, and we do outward block. So again, just watch for a second. Outward block, okay, starts like a low block. Starts like a low block, but it twists outwards. There, so you can see it twisting outwards. The other hand goes back to your hip. So it starts in the same position and goes one there. Ready, and one. So we're going to step back. Ready, Chumbi again. So I'll start quickly run through that just so you all know how the outward block looks. Okay, stepping back with your right leg. One, outward block. Two, outward block. Step number three, you don't step back. You don't step back. From there, you're going to go from there. Watch. 
One, two, the foot leg just goes out a little bit to form a sitting stance. Okay, then you're going to put both hands on your right hip facing upwards. So if you can see that, both hands facing upwards on your right hip, okay. My right hand is the one that's at the bottom, okay. My left hand is the one that's on the top, both facing upwards. In a sitting stance, we're going to go from there, block punch. So you're blocking with your left, punching with your right. There, that motion. Okay, Trumbi, let's have a go at number five again. Okay, come forward. Ready from there, Trumbi. So you're stepping back with your right leg. Stepping back with your right leg. Outward block one. Outward block two. Number three, the leg slides out. Hand on your right hip. Right hand on the bottom, left hand on top, block punch, this motion, there. All right, good, Chumbi, come forward. Okay, so now we're doing number seven. Number seven, okay, is using the knife hand block. So again, so just like the, the number five where it's on the inside, but this time you're changing the inside hand to a knife hand. So it comes around and it's a knife hand block. Other hand goes to your belt there. So we come in from this position one. There. There. Okay, ready? Jump me. Step it back with your right leg in an L stance. And we do knife hand block with our left arm. Step back again. L stance. Knife hand block. The leg goes out again into a sitting stance, bring the arms up over your shoulder, this one's going to twist the block, this one chops to the neck, that motion, there, so it's literally over your shoulder, block, so this, so the knife hand one is your left hand, okay, the one that's chopping to the neck, the reverse knife hand is your right hand, that motion, there, in a sitting stance. Good. All right, B. From there, number five. So number seven. Number seven is the same block as number five. Using the outward block again. All right. From there, B. Right leg that goes back again. L stance. Outer block with your left. Go. And again. Outer block with your right. Then your front leg, your right leg, is going to slide backwards into a forearm guarding block then we're going to finish with a front kick double punch that's it okay let's do that one again come forward everybody from there right leg back out of block one out of block two slide out the way forearm guarding block front kick one two and Chumbi, good, all right, number, six, seven, number eight, okay, is the same as number six, this is the knife hand block again, the knife hand outer block, that one, okay, again, so ready, come forward, step it back with your right leg, knife hand block one, knife hand block two, slide out the way, Knife hand guarding block. From there, we're going to go side kick, landing L stance, knife hand strike. Good. All right. Okay, come forward a bit more again. One more time. Right leg back, knife hand block, knife hand block, slide out the way, knife hand guarding block, side kick, landing L stance. Knife and strike. Good. Okay, number nine. Okay, this is a bit of a tricky one, this one. Okay, but we're using we're using a palm pushing block. Palm pushing block. So we're pushing to the side. So again, we're using our palm heel. From there, the heart, strong part of the hand, the palm heel just there. Okay. So we're pushing that motion. OK, 
Okay, so from there, ready position. Step back with your right in an L stance. And we're going to palm pushing block with our left. And again, palm pushing block with our right. Then the right leg travels all the way round to here, forearm guarding block. That's it. Then we're going to do a back leg turning kick. Land with our feet in Sujit Soli vertical stance. Knife hand strike. Okay, so a vertical stance. If you see my feet, look, let's get to, into camera. So you there. So one's going forward, one's going off to the side. You've got a gap of about a fist, okay, in between the two. Both knees should be bended slightly, okay. That's vertical stance, suji, soggy vertical stance. Yep, okay, good. All right, from there, should be number 10. Don't forget I'm recording. Oh, see, I'm recording all these. I forgot to record it. <laughs> I just forgot to record today's session. Okay, I'll record what I can. Start recording now. Okay, I have rec it is streaming on Facebook though, so you'll be able to get, get off the Facebook one. Okay, from there, should be. Okay, from there, we're going to do number 10. From there, right leg, sorry, forearm, sorry, ready position. Okay, you're going to step back with your right in an L stance and do knife and block again. Knife and block one, knife and block two, slide out the way. That's your knife and guarding block. From there, then we're going to do reverse side kick. Land in a walking stance. Ridge hand with our left. Ridge hand. There. Okay. One more time. Ready. Back with the right. Knife and block. Knife and block. Slide out the way. Knife and guarding block. Then we're going to do reverse side kick, land in a walking stance, bridge hand there. Motion. Okay, good. All right, Jumbi. Okay, that's three step sparring done. Okay, so again, um, on to two step sparring. So this is for the green stripes. Sorry, this is for the blue stripes and above, okay? Two-step sparring. So again, two-step sparring, obviously we're going to step forward twice. Three-step sparring, step forward three times, obviously. One-step sparring, you step forward once, okay? So from there, two-step. Now, the thing is with two-step, it's a little bit different because the attack and the defense are both different each time. Unlike three-step sparring, where you know the attack is always going to be a punch, Two steps by when you have to learn both sides of it, okay? You can't just learn one, okay? Because the attack's not always the same. From there, so, number one, you go right leg back, forearm guarding block, the attacker. Right leg back goes forearm guarding block. You're attacking for number one. So from there, you're going to step forward. From there, high section punch, low section front kick. Again, the other belts, you can have a go at this if you want, doesn't matter. Okay, you don't need to know it for your grading. Okay, but you're more than welcome to have a go. Okay, once again. So from there, the attack is, shout out with me, high section punch, low section front kick. That's the attack. The defence is right leg back walking stance. High rising block in walking stance, right leg back. Step back again, X wrist pressing block, twin vertical punch, okay, that is the defence, again, watch again, from there ready position, stepping back of our right leg, from there, high rising block, go, step back again, X wrist pressing block, twin vertical punch. Okay, good. When you're doing vertical punch, watch. Okay, so keep the uh, Okay, you should have the fingers almost touching, so you're making this shape there. Okay, you see that? I've got two cameras, so I'm going to both of them. So it should look like that there over the top. So it's got that sort of triangle shape there, if you can see. So don't have it like that. 
because you're going to miss the target, it's got to come in and make that sort of shape. Okay, good, ready. One more time, right leg back, forearm guarding block. Okay, from there, stepping forward. High section punch, low section front kick. Go. And stepping back from there to me, stepping back with your right leg. High rising block. X fist pressing block. Twin vertical punch. Good. All right, should be. Don't forget when you do X fist pressing block, okay, you're not blocking like that. You're blocking like that, okay? So your thumb, your little finger should be facing down to the ground, okay? So it shouldn't be blocking with your wrists, it should be there, okay? Blocking the outer forearm, okay? There. All right. Good, all right, from there, number two. So the, the attack for number two is right leg back forearm guarding block, as it always is. Stepping forward in that fixed hand side punch. If you think back to pattern one yo, okay, that's the third move from pattern one yo. Then off your back leg, midsection turning kick, go. All right, watch again. Stepping forward, side punch. Back leg turning kick. Okay, to me, the defense is right leg back in L stance, upward palm. So you're stepping back with your right leg in an L stance and you're blocking upwards with your palm. Okay, then you step back again, Horamaki waist block. Remember how we do waist block, that one? Foot leg comes in, you put your right hand, okay, into this position, and then you put your left hand on your fist, like that. So you're going to be pushing, basically you're going to do an elbow, and you're using that palm to push it forward into someone's solar plexus. Okay, so we've got one, one, two, slide in, and then in, slide in to someone's solar plexus with your elbow, okay. Watch again, number two, ready to be. From there, step back. Upward palm. Step back again. Holomaki waist block. Slide in. Hand on your okay, fist. Tight there. And in. Good. Alright. Chumbi. Okay, number three. Stepping back, right leg back, forearm guarding block, as the attack always is in two steps firing. From there, you're going to step forward, low section front kick. Step forward again, twin vertical punch. So you must make sure, make sure you step forward twice, okay? Because a lot of people forget to step forward the second time. They go front kick and then just do that. No, that's wrong. You've got to step forward twice. Ready, forearm guarding block, step forward, low section front kick, step forward again, twin vertical punch. Good, Chumbi, from there. The defence is right leg back, X fist pressing block. Step back again, wedging block. Grab the head. Bring the knee in. Step back and block. So you should be having your left leg back now. Chumbi, again, watch ready position. Okay, the defense for number three. Right leg back. X fist pressing block. Step back again. Wedging block. Grab. Knee. Step back and finish. Chumbi, good. Okie dokie. Attack for number four. So this is up now. So this is the last one that blue stripes need to know. If you're a blue stripe, you only need to know one, two, and three, and four. Okay. From there, right leg back, forearm guarding block. Stepping forward, walking stance. Flat, high section, flat fingertip. If you can see, you're making a fingertip. High section, fingertip, yep. Yeah. Okay, again, come back again, right leg back, forearm guiding block, right leg back, forearm guiding block, step forward, 
high flat fingertip thrust, back leg, side kick. Go. Again, ready? Step forward. One, side kick. Go. That's the attack. The defence is right leg back, walking stance, high knife hand block. Okay, so high section, so you're going back with your right hand, so it's like a, 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 a normal rising block, chucky or, chucky or maki, but we're using a knife hand instead. Okay, if you can see, we're going up over our head. Okay, so we're going to go from there, one, then we're going to step back again, and from there, it's a palm block. So it's a palm waist block, a bit like we did on three sets bone number nine. Okay, so that would knock the foot to one side. Then off your back leg, you're going to do front kick to the, the, um, the bottom of the back. And then twin upset punch. So an upset punch is different from an upward punch. An upward punch goes up. Upset goes in. Alright, so you're going into the kidneys, yeah? Okay, so from there, you're going inwards. Upset, upward. Okay, they're both different. Okay, so from there, ready position. So the defence for number four, right leg back, one. Step back again, two. Back leg, front kick to the coccyx, the bottom of the back, and then twin upset punch. Good. Jumbi. Okay, that's one, two, three, four. Number five. Again, so this is from blue belt to red stripe. Number five. How are we doing for time? We've got five minutes, so we need to be quick. Okay, Chumbi, ready position. Okay, right leg back, forearm guarding block. The attack is reverse side kick. In a walking stance, step forward, palm strike. Okay, and again, ready? Come back again. From there, we're going to go reverse side kick, step forward, palm strike to the head. All right, Jumbi, from there. Defense, stepping back with your right leg. Okay, palm waist block. Okay, step back. Inward block. Slime that leg into a walking stance. Ridge hand with your left. Okay, one more time, ready? Sorry, ready, right leg back, forearm guiding block. So, reverse side kick, go. Step forward, palm strike, go. Good, okay, it should be. Okay, the defense, step back with your right leg, palm waist block, go. Step forward, inward block, in our stance, step that leg forward, reverse knife hand. Good, from there, Chumbi. Number six, right leg back, forearm guiding block. Stepping forward, back leg, turning kick. Step forward, arcan strike. So again, you see that position there? You see it's like an arcan, so it's like, let's go to the throat. That motion, okay, so again, it's not a palm hooking block, the palm hooking block is on the defense. It's thrusting forward. All right, ready? The defense for number six. Step back with your left leg this time. From there, arm, double block there, one. So you block it, both arms up to block the kick. There. Step back, palm hooking block. Grab, pull, kick off your front leg side kick, land and block. Okay, Jumbi, number seven. Right leg back, forearm guiding block. Stepping forward, L stance, side fist. So imagine like a knife and strike, but you're making a fist. Then you're going to do reverse turning kick to the midsection and land forward. Go. Okay, watch again. Come back, everyone, forearm guiding block. Ready? Step forward, side fist. Reverse turning kick. All right, Chumbi. The defense. Step back with your left leg. 
Twin forearm lock. Okay, as that reverse turning kick comes, you step out of the way and then you do reverse turning kick high section and go all the way back to ready position. All right, should be. And the last one, number eight, right leg back forearm guiding block. Stepping forward from there off your back leg, side kick. Spin round, knife and strike. So you shove your left leg forward. All right, should be. And the defence from there is step back with your right leg and block across from the inside there. So it swings across, the scooping block comes across one there. Then you step back behind, knife and guiding block. Then the back leg goes into an X stance, back fist strike. All right, Jumbi, everybody. Chariots feet together. Jungay Bao, give yourself a clap, you guys, today. So, again, you have to do a cool down on your own today. So, you know, I've got to shoot off this morning. So, sit yourself down, make sure you do a nice cool down as well, okay? You know, you know what you're doing with stretching and things like that. Okay, Mr. White will be doing the class tonight. So, make sure you join in with uh, Jackson White Jr. to do the class tonight from half past six till seven o'clock, okay? If I'm back in time, I will join in. Okay, hopefully, I will be back in time, okay? Well then everybody, give yourself a clap, give yourself a pat on the back, feet together, attention, chungay bow, thank you guys, well done, good effort this morning, okay, well done.